Hi, Mike. Hi, Mike's family. Just uh, This is Christian Canaleta just doing a, a short uh, student introduction video. It's been a long time coming. Uh, let's see, I've been a Mike student since day one. Yeah, it's been a long time. I don't know if it's some of you guys and girls remember, but I posted a, a picture of... Uh, my student folder that actually turned into a binder on Facebook a while. Let me show that to you. I thought it was kind of funny. Ugh. Look at that thing. It's heavy too. And when I first started, I started doing these little tab things, things that I would wanted to work on. I was kind of ambitious. I know, that wasn't the right way to do that. I'm actually on my second binder now. And uh, I've gotten better at managing what things to work on. So uh, thanks, Mike, for shedding some light on that, too. Um, what else about me? Uh, I'm a full-time musician, which means I'm poor. Um, actually, I've been... Uh, I've been teaching full-time uh, since 2007, and prior to that, I was in the IT field for about, uh, God, 10 years. And I was kind of like playing gigs every weekend, kind of weekend warrior kind of thing, you know, teaching here and there. Um, but every three years, I would get laid off. Like, it was weird, too. It was like, yeah, every three years at the exact month of that year it was crazy and then finally after the third layoff my wife said you know why don't you give music a chance and I you know just kind of looked at her like what <laughs> yeah and uh, so ever since then you know seven years later I'm doing it it was tough at first especially getting students um, getting students at a local music store Took some time, but it was harder getting students at my home. That was tough. Um, so now, you know, I'm managing about 30 students right now. I mostly play at church. Um, before that, I was doing a country pop cover thing, playing out by you, Mike, you know, in, uh, in Sacramento. Um, at the Stoney's Inn. I think that's in Sacramento at the Twin Pine Casinos. And I live in Brentwood, which is about um, two, about a two hour drive from Sacramento between uh, Concord and Discovery Bay. Uh, let's see, what else? I've been playing for about 25 years. Um, married for 22. I have three daughters. Two are in college. One just turned 13. Yeah, she's a teenager. And uh, they keep me on my toes. And uh, it's tough. You know, being a dad, a husband, full-time musician. I'm, I'm really envious of some of the people that p can post videos and, you know, doing all their things and, you know, posting it. It's like, wow. And I look at those like, wow, I wish I could do that and be more active. So I'm hoping, you know, now that I got this camera that I can do that too. And, uh, you know, try to be try to be active in the group as much as I can. It's kind of like when you're self-employed, you're kind of like everything. You're kind of like, you know, aside from the, te the teaching, you're kind of like, okay, and now I'm the accountant. Now I'm the marketing guy. Now I'm like the IT guy. It's crazy. So I've learned a whole lot. Um, one of my goals for drumming is to do one of the teacher camps so I can know how to speak into the camera a little bit better, that's for sure. And then hopefully next year, what I'd like to do before that is uh, go to a camp, try to actually hook up with my fellow Mike Mike's family drummer, Ehrman. We're trying to hook up in 2015 to do, to do a camp, so that would be cool if we can both do that together. Uh, what else? Oh, let me uh, let me show you uh, my lesson room. My lesson room here. This is where I teach out of my home. So let me do that. Uh, 
So, in this closet is my, that's my gig set. It's a uh, Pro Reference Granite Sparkle Kit. It's a six piece, but because, um, you know, I don't have my own roadie, it's, uh, I only pretty much bring a four piece, and for you Pro owners know, those reference kits are heavy. <laughs> oh, they're freaking heavy. So uh, that's the reason why I cut down to save on the back. Here's my um, EXR set. This is what I teach on, pretty much what the students play. I got the double pedal, Zildjian cymbals, Evans heads. I go back and forth between, you know, the big uh, drum head companies. Sometimes on my sets, I'll have Remo. Sometimes I'll have Aquarians. Sometimes I'll have a, a mix and match. And over here, this is my um, my Roland set. It's a TD-12. It's outdated now. It's funny, when you drop all this money, it gets outdated the next day. There's that. And then my uh, all the mics, oop, the mics that I have on this set, they're pretty much uh, Audix mics on the drums. And then on the overheads, I got some Shure SM81s. And then on, yeah, the toms, uh, D2 on the first tom, and D4s on the second and floor tom. And then a D6 on the bass drum. And then the good old 57 on the snare. That's also been another learning curve, just recording. And all that's going into a PreSonus interface. It's, it's an older version. It's the FirePod. And then I got an old TOA mixer and then a Lexicon effects unit. And then that's all sitting on a Serwin, Serwin Vega three-way cabinet. It has a 18-inch uh, woofer in it. That's when I have to take the TD-12 out so I can get some good thump with that. And then on the walls, I'm using these audio mute blankets. And they're really good. They, they absorb a lot of the, the drumming sounds. And I have them draped over the windows. But uh, one thing they're really good at is they keep all the heat in. So like summertime... Oh man, it gets really cooking in here. And then someday I'm hoping to finish off this wall. So let me put you back on the, put the camera back on here. So just to end, just wanted to thank everybody, Mike, Amber, Nate, all the fellow Nate, fellow, fellow Nate, fellow Mike's family drummers and out there. All you guys have been such a inspiration. And uh, yeah, I, I get on the Facebook page and it's like, holy crap, that was awesome. And it just makes me want to go practice and get better. So uh there you go. Thanks, everybody. See you around.